Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at the Helicon Tex laptop briefcase. So when I hear the word briefcase, I think of something that has a pretty rigid structure, but this is a nylon briefcase and this is what it looks like. So as soon as I saw this thing on their website, I was intrigued because it's very slim profile and um, it forces you to think about the gear you're carrying. Like what do you carry that you use? What do you carry that's just taking up space? You know, sometimes we carry gear that's very rarely gonna be used, but we definitely wanna have it. And other times we carry gear and we're like, I have that, it's been in my briefcase or my sling bag for a long time and I've never touched it or never used it. So it forces me to think about, you know, refining my system and getting it down to the core essentials. So I would say the way I have this set up right now works for me kind of on a short term basis, but I have a laptop and an iPad in here. And generally speaking, I just have one or the other. So this is gonna be a little more full than I would have it on maybe a day to day basis, um, but it's carried the gear nicely. As you can see, it's got a nice wide strap here. No extra padded section, which is fine because just based on the size of the briefcase, you can't stuff so much gear in here that you know you need something with a lot of extra padding there. It's this, this is how I've been carrying it with just a t-shirt and a sweatshirt on, and it's been totally fine. So these are the um, our QD here. So you can pop it off real quick if you wanna take off the, uh, the strap, uh, the shoulder strap, and just carry it with the carry handle. So you can do that as well. Let me give you a quick look here. So that's the front. You can get it in black and you can get it in black and tan, which I obviously have. There's the new ETV patches and those will be available soon. Take it off here and show you the back real quick. Here's a look at the back. And I do want to mention that if you take the uh, shoulder strap off, you can tuck these QD buckles down in this section here and the same on the other side so that it's not like it's uh, you've got these two random buckles that are just kind of sticking out of nowhere. Um, I prefer to run it like this. And it is fully adjustable as you can see right there. So if you want to run it lower or higher, you can set it up however you want. So again, here's a look at the front. We have a pocket here and a pocket here. We have the main section, uh, which is divided into two pockets. And then we have a pocket on the back here. So for these front two pockets, we have little pull tabs here. There is a little hole there. So you could put like a, a carabiner or something else if you wanted to, but grab a hold of it, open it up. This is where I keep my compact Bible. And then you can see here that if you have less gear in it, it kind of it can collapse down and if you have more gear and it, it can expand out over on the other side opens up the same way and then here i've got my uh power cord for my computer i've got a uh, journal and i think that's it yep that's it in this section as well so i could fit a little bit more in there if i wanted to but again um, the goal is not to just carry a ton of gear it's to be pretty streamlined if you're going to be using a uh, a pack like this or a nylon briefcase like this YKK zippers, this will fit up to a 15 inch laptop. You can see down in here, you've got my laptop in the back section and some gear in the front section. So in the back is the, uh, I got my MacBook Air, um, that's 13 inches. I do have my iPad in here. Like I said, that makes it kind of run a little bit deeper than I normally would. So let me take the iPad out. And I wanna show you the organizational system inside. So uh, this is hook and loop, and on the back side here, that's all hook and loop as well. And Helicon uh, makes these basically Velcro organization pouches so that you can uh, put gear inside and organize it as you see fit. So they've got different kinds and different sizes. You can see for this one right here, I've got some pens, I've got my Tide to go stick, I've got a multi-tool in there, and it's just got a hook and loop feel on the back so you can attach it. They have some smaller ones, some larger ones, ones that you can zip closed, little like pencil bags. And then over here I've actually got one of the Vertex organizers. I had this in the, um, the dead letter sling bag, but now it's in this guy and that's all my med gear inside there. Over here on the back, you can see one big zipper and a pocket where you could store some gear inside there. So a couple other details here. Like I said, YKK zippers. It does have Wujin buckles. Um, it is ripstop nylon. See if you can see the little checkering there. Yep. So very durable nylon. Um, and then the other thing is that it's in the urban line and that's called the insert system. So the organizational pouches I was showing you before, they've got a lot of them. So if you're like, hey, I need something for like, I carry lots of pens or markers or whatever it is, that's what you can get. If you're like, I need a couple different size pouches, you can get those. So lots of different ways to set it up internally as far as organizing it. Now on their uh, website, I saw it in um, black and black and tan. And then I saw a picture that was a little bit more like kind of a, uh, light blue almost so right now I only see two available but maybe they have some other colors that were available or will be available in the future this reminds me of the Maxpedition Valence Tech Sling as far as how streamlined it is and sleek it is like the uh, the Vertex Sling bag that I like the Vertex Dead Letter bag that I like um, some gear from VanQuest they're just bigger and bulkier and they're gonna be able to carry more stuff but as far as like for me for work it's like laptop maybe iPad 
couple books, some pens, my Bible, a multi-tool, med kit. That's it. That's all I need. And this can, uh, this can do the job. So it's not like I'm taking this and having to be out on the town for you know 12 hours straight and I got to keep an extra jacket and all kinds of stuff in here. So if you're looking for something kind of sleek and slick, this may be something worth checking out. Right now at the time of this video, this is running around $40, $42 I think was what I saw it at last I checked. Um, so it's a cool product. And like I said, um, if you're not carrying a ton of gear and you want something low profile, I think this is good. This also doesn't scream tactical to me. It doesn't scream, you know, like, hey, I've got all kinds of tactical gear in, in my uh, bag. It's pretty simple. It's, I don't think it's gonna attract a lot of attention. Now, all that said, um, because it does have the hook and loop panels all over the inside, they do have hook and loop holsters. So if you do wanna go CCW, you can rock something in this. You know, I wouldn't, just by the size of it, I wouldn't be rocking anything too huge, but you definitely could do that. So let me hear your thoughts on this. You know, when you think about carrying a bag, backpack, sling bag, messenger bag, what do you like? And then how does this fit into your lifestyle or system? All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.